You're watching the Fox 25 Prime Time News at 9 with Mike Brooks, Jamie Serena, Weather with John Slater, and Sports with Myron Batten. This is the Fox 25 Prime Time News at 9. A multi-million dollar project sits unfinished. Now a lawmaker plans to introduce legislation to complete the American Indian Cultural Center and Museum. The construction came to a halt at the museum six months ago. As Fox 25's Priscilla Luang found out, the standstill cost taxpayers thousands of dollars each month. Priscilla. Jamie, what began as a $100 million state-of-the-art museum has grown into a project nearly twice that amount. And when it comes to getting the money for officials at the American Indian Cultural Center and Museum, it's now or never. The space that you're in right now is a really exciting space. This is the Hall of the People. Sitting just south of the Oklahoma River, the American Indian Cultural Center and Museum hasn't seen progress in months. The problem? No more money. So they peace build it, and that's not a good way to do business over 10, 15 years of giving little bits amount of money. The project has spanned 18 years and has more than $90 million invested in it. Museum officials say it will take another $80 million to complete the facility. We know this is our final time to be able to say, let's complete this not only for American Indians, but for the state of Oklahoma, all people. The beans that uh, span across the roof are going to be a, a natural color when it's all finished. After facing several funding roadblocks last session, museum officials are working with Senator Kyle Loveless on a bill that asks the state for $40 million to pay for the project. The other $40 million will come from private donations. This is going to be a billion-dollar generator of tax and economic development. Uh, impact into our city and state. Critics of the American Indian Museum project say it's a burden to taxpayers, but Loveless says waiting only costs taxpayers more money. You have more costs involved, more security, uh, as well as costs go up. That's part of the reason why we're in this mess. Securing the construction site alone costs taxpayers an estimated $52,000 a month. So I've got $90 million in the ground out here, and if we start getting broken into, well, then we've got a disaster that we will never be able to complete this project. Museum officials say if lawmakers give them what they need to finish the project, they will never ask for another dollar. Once it's up and once it's open, then we can pay back to the state through taxes everything they've given to us. Museum officials say if the bill passes, the museum will be completed in 2014. The legislative session begins in January. In the newsroom, Priscilla Luong, Fox 25 News.